Oh, well, you know, here we go. Sorry about that. Again, my mic was off. I, holy crap, I am sorry about that. <laughs> okay, expats trash is Philippines. We're beginning to talk about expats. I think they're doing a pretty good Now, will I be on there someday? I, I somehow don't think so because I don't think uh, I'm the material they want to put on there. And they, they have their targets. They're doing a good job with Philly. And they're going to do another show on Philly and the Philippines again. Yeah. You know, I, I used to wonder, well, I never really wondered. I know why he wears the sunglasses because uh, he's got raccoon eyes. I've always said that. He's got these really black eyes. Natural, you know, they're dark eyes. Some people have that really dark eyes. I don't know if it's a pigment or something on there. I, I don't have no idea. But he's really got these big old dark eyes. Now, nah, Philly hasn't been uh, exactly a pillar of the community. I must admit that. So I guess if Expat Trash is going to do another show on him, yeah, I guess it's it. Uh, I think uh, Michael Fazio should be a definite target of this channel. It's just my thoughts and my suggestion to Expat Trash Philippines. He's not an innocent. We know that. He's definitely not an innocent. Let me give you an example of his buffoonery. Some information at the Cuckoo Bar and Grill, and then, but before I go to the Cuckoo Bar and Grill, I'm going to office and the police. His wife for me and Gilda. On the island to check to make sure I'm allowed on the island, but that's all 70 or 80 days from now. But that's gonna. Well, if you're gonna live 70 or 80 days from now to where you're going. Yeah, and then we have a man who is uh, who's that way. I'm going to go to the Cuckoo Bar and Grill on Bantayan Island. Dude, whether you lose 100 pounds or not ain't going to make a goddamn bit of difference. I'll show up. <laughs> this guy really is fucking his fucking mind. Jeez. We got here and we got insanity on here. He's the second part. He's the second insanity on here. Keeps on ticking. Till his ticker can no longer tick, no longer tick. Just a matter of time with this guy. That's why I, I take him with a grain of salt. He's not healthy at all. He's not healthy one bit. And of course, I was a <laughs> the fuck about who body else. As long as it ain't about like, gives a shit about my girlfriend, right? Build a laugh. We don't have, we don't have thin skin like that. And I knew that he. Well, he thought it was a clever ruse to get my attention. I even said on my show, I don't buy the story. I know him too well. And he's not going to bite the hand that feeds him. Simply meaning that his kissing up to Aloe means a lot to him. He feels like he have yet another asshole seemingly on his side, but Aloe's not on anybody's side. If you haven't learned that by now, then I guess you never will. But this moron thinks in his mind, you mean a nameless, faceless coward? How's he going to protect her? He won't even show himself in public. I give him a clean invitation, RSVP, to come to my house and show himself, but he won't do that. No, but you can't do that. You have to come over here to... Fuck you. You got a bone to pick with me? Do it in person. Never mind calling relatives or making fun of my girlfriend or whatever the hell it is. That's a cow coward's way of handling shit. Come over my place. Show me that you care. That's my challenge to you. Fuck this shit. Oh, did you notice, guys, again? Every time his group gets under pressure, they all talk about retiring in December. How many times have we heard that before? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I think I go to December. I am, Papa. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about that, too. You know, yeah, it's a good time. Maybe we'll put on a good show and and we'll retire. And, you know, I could put away my fucking can of corn so I don't have to talk about the fucking corn in my shit anymore. Yeah, do us all a favor. Time. Retire in December. Reporting <laughs> out. And they know that they're under a lot of pressure. 
Popeye's getting scared because he's pissed off a lot of people. Had threats in the past. He continually does. Wait, who's the one that's after Popeye? Who's the? Guess my memory is gone. Somebody out of loss. I don't know. Name the person's probably that person. Who the hell? You called it out at this at this time. I did call it out. It's the bullshit with him and, and Aloe. I'm kind of wondering how he got that dick. Was he fucking sucking? I don't know. I don't know. Seen right through him, man. I've been following this guy for a lot of a lot of years. I know when he's bullshitting. That's like the computer is bullshitting. But yeah, a Allo is, as far as he's concerned, his best Al. But what has Allo really done for him? Really, nothing. What has Ricky done for Barry? Nothing. I mean, it's the same thing. For some fear Allo. They fear Allo. He's going to get his dirty dog on him. Everybody shuts up. Nameless, faceless coward. Not only will never show his face on camera, but he had opportunities in the past to meet up with people. He never did. Never did. Now that's a coward. The biggest coward in YouTube history. You know, uh, I don't know what's wrong with these people. Brevis did a short. But this guy is nonstop too. They look for trouble, man. He did a video of Super Chubby and all the guy dancing on the dance floor. He said, that's it, flip it. <laughs> Somehow, if it uh, has the strength, pretty old. He's a smoker, drinker. I don't think so. Well, it's just that, you know, Brevis has a way of seeing everyone. As if he's some kind of pillar of the community. As if he's a perfect specimen of a man. Someone that doesn't respect Filipinos at all. Nevertheless, to be with a Filipino, have a baby with a Filipino. Like I said, nothing against the kid. But the father of this kid, you can't deny that. Nobody could. Anything good that you could think of? Because I can't think of it. Well, helping Barry. Well, that's his drinking buddy. He's got to have drinking buddies, especially when he first came out here and he hooked up with Barry. Previous told me himself what a psycho case Barry was. Previous himself when he visited because he needed a drinking partner. When you're an alcoholic, you don't want to go out alone. You don't want to go out alone, drink alone. Barry's always willing. If you were willing to pay for Barry's man, he was there. Yeah, Yellow Man has been running his mouth quite a bit. And I told him, I've never been done with you. I'm not done with him. Long shot. If Mother Nature doesn't do him in, something else might. You never know. Struck by lightning, might fall off his ladder. Some other YouTuber that don't like him may come over there and not bitch slap him. They do a lot worse than that. It could happen when you make any. This guy does. But he continues being cocky. He's following the same path as Barry. The same Barry. And what happened to Barry? Of the law too. Nobody can touch me. What happened? I can run my mouth as much as I want. Thing. Would you say that he's following the same pattern as Barry? Mm, better think about what you say on your show, boy. Better think you would. No one's about the law, the law of the government. Just a matter of time for you. Just a matter of time. Dude, 150 pounds. I cold cock you so fucking hard. Permanent person. Never get rid of. I will indent your fucking face if you ever approached me in such a way. Get your will going. Well, you don't own it. Ridden wood. You don't have anything of value. So I guess there's nothing to make out of you. Yeah, talk about the cocoa bar. Talk about talk. Say hello. Say Gilda and Frank said hello. They'll know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> They'll kick you right out of the fucking office. <laughs> you think I'm not well connected here? Do you think it's just a bunch of shit? Well, time I want, it could be true or not. You willing to find out? Hey, we've been in this town a long time. We've been to friends of people in the municipal police officers, his wife. Do you think you got a chance coming to this town? Even if I just don't think so.
But if you really want to prove yourself, you know where I live, and I'll say that's who I live. You making threats to me all the time. House, where's your balls to stop by and say something to me that time when you drove by in a trike? That time you came down here. Balls to get out of that trike and approach me, tough guy. Why didn't you do? Because you won't. And I know that as a fact. You're a pussy, man. You've always been a pussy. Even though you don't get any pussy, no double thinking about two balls, man. You, you're fucking suffering. You're suffering. You want that, that female touch say again? Had it in your whole life. Had in a way, for market. But we seen you. First of all, it's hard to believe that was you. Not that you were good looking. Certainly now. Videos. A wimpy little fucker. I build. <laughs> you don't build shit. You just build up a lot of people that don't like you. Is that the way you want to really leave this world? Which is you are. I mean, truly hated for being a liar, for being a bullshit ass that you do behind. Look, dude. I mean, you know, I'm not religious. Again. You gonna burn, baby? Hell, none. What so fucking? Thing is, there's a hell after you die. You're suffering. No woman. No good income. Everywhere. Floor falling in. Ceiling falling apart, your walls previously fell. Up. Take a hint. <laughs> Good evening, Jason Baldhead. Oh, there you are. A white horse like you, because you support my channel. How many tickets would be have to a ferry there? How many tickets would be to have to buy That's for a ticket to go from San Romeo here, the way to San Romeo, in order to get bar. How they roll chickens, man? Fazio is the biggest coward on here. It's all so Alo de Vinta. He thinks. <laughs> I'm thinking he would need tickets for at least four seats. Oh, I get you. Where he lost weight, his face looks more withdrawn than thinner. There's a difference between thinner and withdrawn, and、uh, his skin is starting to sag a lot. Sag Harbor, remember that Fazio? You've been to Sag Harbor. I've been to Sag Harbor. You know where that is, right? Yeah. The Incredible Melting Man. That's what we have. This waste. He's melting fat、uh, in areas that. But what it's doing is making his skin droop. Maybe we just call him Droopy, Droopy, or that character from Dick Tracy called Prune Face. Oh, I like that one, Prune Face. You know, when he was down here, he hardly went anywhere. He's talking about the infrastructure of the town. Boy, they're building shit everywhere. I don't know what he's talking. He never. Left his hotel room to go far. He didn't want to run into me, but he had the balls to go on a trike, and they rode right by my place. He did a video that time, and I heard him laughing in the background. As he went, it was his laugh. 125. He didn't have the ball. He feels very protected behind his computer screen. Oh, now he's cuter. I guess he'll be out there e-begging. He'll be out there e-begging people to give him a new computer. What a cheapskate this guy is. Anyway, everybody's pretty much convinced that my super chat has stopped on here. Well, you know, if that's the case, it's the case. And Fazio seems so concerned about that. I'm not sure why. I, I'm not sure he wants everybody's money to be parlayed in his direction, except like a few other vloggers that we know out here. I hate to call them vlog material. It's not a vlog. I call them YouTubers. A vlogger is a whole, whole different 
class. I'm pretty sure he is Alex Fry. I mean, I am pretty sure that he is. Of course, he had to laugh that away when he got discovered. He's been making excuses ever since because he doesn't want anybody to know his identity at all. He'd have a lot of people after his ass, that's for sure. Walking to and knocking on a door is strenuous physical activity. <laughs> he ever lost a hundred pounds as he's going to. So, oh, thank you, raining cats and dogs. We appreciate the super chat. Thank you very much. I hope it's catchy. That's what I didn't listen to out here. Are here. Now, you know, if you lose a lot of weight, it happened before that, but already of it, right? Did enough stuff. It'll be all flab. Muscle to fight anybody. Number one. Number two. Hmm. Ah, boy. He will, once he starts eating, he will gain the weight right the mode. And he starts shoveling that shit back in his mouth. His stomach expands again for more food. The body's more nutrition. I happen to know that there's certain things that he's not putting in his body during a water fast. He thinks he's an expert on that. His body, and he's not getting. It could actually shut down his kidneys. What he's doing. Shit, understand that. Try to teach something to somebody out of your good heart. They don't listen. And he's one of these people that wants to feel that he's right all the time. Jason Bullard is uh, with the three, two pounds sterling. Oh, okay, that's two sterling is. Was it like 25 cents uh, US or something like that? I don't have a converter, convert the, uh, that's two pounds, isn't it? Is that a, I don't know. That's fine, still two bucks. It's all, it's all. I don't have a problem with how much somebody sends. It's the thought that counts. That's how you should look at it. Don't look at it any other way. Hey, different ways of looking at things, right? It's more than I had before I started this broadcast. So can't argue with that. <laughs> White horse says pounds stronger than the dollar. Is it really these days? I thought Europe was having a lot of problems. I tell you what, I had really upkept myself at anything going on beyond the Philippines other than the, the wildfires in Hawaii. The field was set on purpose, but we're not going to go into that on my show. I ain't going to be on it too long here. But, you know, he asked when I beat him to the punch, I knew he was bullshitting. He went with Aloe because that wasn't going to happen. You know, Frank took the bait. They're trying to say that I was baited. No, man. How could that be? When I already said it on my show prior, but when I heard his broadcast, I already did a show saying, I'm not buying this. I'm not buying this at all. I did. The U.S. is in better shape as far as that's concerned. I don't I haven't been really following. All I know is I've been hearing a show or something. It wasn't a Philippines channel. It was on a big feed and a major crash on the dollar in the United States telling people that you better make preparation for it. And I, I buy it. I do buy the story. It could be one disaster of some sort that can cause the economy to collapse. Could be an environment. It could be a fucking alien for all I know. It doesn't take much. It could happen. Nobody's prepared about that. Up to 50 cents. He explained. Yeah, it's nice getting donations. I just wish I got more. It gives me more encouragement to continue my show. He said, Frank, I realize it's your hobby, but, you know, for the piddly amount of money you make on your show, is it really worth it? Even with the AdSense? We make a little bit of money on the AdSense and all that, but it's not like my life depended on it. Some people, well, maybe theirs does. That irritating sound, okay. Water fast hasn't caused Crisco stock to. He claims that he did not have any food at the fiesta. We know that's bullshit. We know that's bullshit. There's no way he's going to be around food like that after not supposedly eating for 17 days. There's no fucking way. 
if you enjoy vlogging a few bucks on the side, well, I'm not really making much on here. That's the whole thing is what I'm saying, guys. Take their cut 30% on there, the IRs, things like that. Enough to, to fucking even fire. I mean, it's like, you know, no, really, I could understand. I mean, I thought this, in telling me this, uh, besides Gilda, somebody was saying something to me outside of YouTube. Uh, oh, yeah, somebody I know that's kind of follows me, very big help to me through the Barry situation. Uh, I mean, why do you even bother? Is it there on YouTube and getting attacked all the time? Acting don't bother me. I've been dealing with that for seven and a half years. I've been very successful in at these people and making them eat crap. I'm very good at what I do, admit it. But you spent on your show. All right, now I'm I'm serious. I'm serious as I'm serious. If I'm gonna continue on here, my little donation, don't show the super chat stuff, it's gonna to have to improve to give me uh, the incentive to want to stay around. Because sometimes I get burnt out when I do a show. Maybe I don't sound like it. I'm dancing around. I'm singing and all that shit. And I'm having a good old time. But some because I feel that I have to. Does that make sense? You know, it's like a, it's like you're so used to doing it on a daily basis. There are some channels that do. It has to be worthwhile. That to be one reason to be worthwhile. I mean, people here when I give advice, okay, knock that check, put a check mark on that. I'm not chat on here. Put a check mark on that. So, you know, what do I do? Come on here to argue with everybody? And I make their shows thrive when they do shows to talk about? None of this adds up mathematically or sensibly. Well, I'm doing it, okay, but the idea is successful. I'm coming up making any fucking money. I mean, $2 here and there and occasionally. One time, a whole 50 almost fell out of my chair money on this show keep me to influence me in a positive way to stay on it has nothing to do with the trolls i've been fighting trolls for seven and a half years man that's not the issue it's I need a reason to stay on here not just to hear my own fucking voice i got a following on here but how many are trolls really this is something that makes money it's just not started out very well but there's a lot of envy that goes on I mean, it's not made there's a lot of envy that goes on on here then they start <clears throat> excuse me that's wrong <clears throat> excuse me that's wrong I don't want to kill somebody it could come down to that nah it isn't it really hasn't it's not worth it I may not even be doing a show tomorrow I may not even be doing a show tomorrow. I'm just kind of let with the videos I have on their ride and make a couple of pence, you know. That's about it. Yeah, it is really not. I mean, my show has never been about the time. 99% of the time, I've never been monetized. But I think I'm at that I jump on the kiss the waters and see where it goes. And for a short while there, I thought maybe it was happening. Thank goodness I don't have to depend on YouTube. We'll have to do that, but that's not the issue. The time that I spend on YouTube and I, the oxygen I use up in my lungs, the time it takes to put on a video. I mean, there has to be some incentive. Taking two bucks here and initiate any donation on here. I'm not going to knock you for it, but you know, bone. When it comes to doing a show. It seems there's a little on that shit. That it's not a hate channel. And it never will. That's what's so It's sad to say that about society, but, you know, that's kind of how it is. Dangerous. You know, there's a few. You know what happens when too far? For my fucking sword, one way or the other, I guarantee you that. I don't feel like going to jail. Especially when I know when certain people tell you with me, you push me too far, know what's going to happen. You just never know. You think in your mind it'll never happen, but you also never thought that would happen. Jordan, where is he now? You think I held back on him? I got both barrels loaded on him. 
out the 50 milli. I took out the 50 millimeter, not the fucking 22s on this guy. Get an ass. So will some people if they continue on a. Let me tell you something. I got fucking connections. If I wanted these fucking people gone, they won't be gone a long time ago. I to do that. And I held back. If I wanted them gone permanently, they'd be honest as I've ever been. If I wanted them gone, they wouldn't be walking the earth anymore. But thank goodness, like these people, I spared them. Oh, you don't think I'm capable of taking care of business? It's just you said, I have things to live for. A lot of these people don't. I have things to live for. I said, however, if somebody got in my face on my birthday and they mean any way, I guarantee you I'm not going to take their abuse. That ain't going to happen. I'm out of there unscathed enough now. Fuck the age. You know on the roof, but there's fire in the furnace. I protect myself because if they're going to hit me, if they're going to see and I see my own blood, <laughs> talk about... I do. I don't want to get to that point where somebody has to get hurt. Or worse. And there are times I felt that way. Believe, believe me, I have. Shit. I was driven to that point. But I had to stop myself. And say... So that wouldn't be the answer. So I took it a legal direction. That's where we stand today. I don't believe in violence. I don't advocate it. But I sure as hell am going to protect myself and my loved ones. I'll tell you that. That goes a long way. 920 plan on doing a big old $2 donation. About And thank you for that. But I don't know. It's been something I've been thinking about. I have to make it worthwhile to kind of hang around. You know, if I do that, I'll leave whatever videos I got out there. But uh, as far as doing shows, I meant a loud situation and just go with the total zero. Zip City, except for videos on there. You'll probably know by tomorrow morning. You'll probably know by tomorrow morning. This has to be an incentive. Sometimes it comes to the point you got to draw the line and say, what the... F hear more drama? I channel here drama. It's all around you. And that's what you live for anyway on my show. You want to hear about Barry. You want to hear about Alan. All the psychopaths out there. About them. It gets old even for me. Same fucking characters. Different time, different day. Doing and saying the same shit over and over again. What can you take? Is bored and no matter how you look, God, he won't drama. Like if I find something like that, then they have to come on here and listen to the same sh fucking rhetoric time after time after time. Please don't get me wrong. Did that doesn't mean I'm not taking care of business continually, and I will can take continue to take care of business as I feel fit. He don't he don't donate to nobody if you're talking about. What he did, that nanny, whatever, he's give her a six thousand pesos, right? So um, turns around and uh, pockets a thousand of it, or actually uses a thousand of the six to buy put together a photograph in a frame. So in other words, it didn't come out of his pocket. Don't, what a sick bastard! What a cheap ass bastard! He used, added a 6,000 for who she is to him and who he, why he's trying to impress her. He's trying to smit, get, he's smitten with the lady. He's pretty desperate these days. Or he's just trying to prove something. Oh, see, I'm generous. If Frank could be generous, I could be generous. No, you can't. In your blood. <laughs> she she's going to give him 6,000 pesos. He didn't want to take the fucking money out of him. So he takes it out of the 6,000 pesos. <laughs> And then he has some viewers send him some more money, so he's even happier now. So he didn't have... Ah, it's just amazing, man. Ah, shit. How do you listen to this shit, you know? Tell you what, I'll keep the stream on all night. If I don't see any other donations by morning, that'll make my decision. That's all I'm going to do.
Yeah. It's too tiring. There's got to be some benefit to stay on here. Philly, the Philippines, all these people, they're making buku money up there. They're assholes, and they're doing it from being a goddamn asshole. An asshole. Well, you know, guys, I'm, I'm going to show you that. But it's not my gig. Maybe it's their gig, but it's not my gig. Yeah. Okay, I gotta wind this shit down. Gotta wind this shit down tonight. 23 2. Look at that. One, two. Look you up on here. What? Two dollars? <laughs> hey, look, man. This ain't the Barry J show, okay? I mean, might be salivating at two dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta be worth a lot more than that for me to hang around on here. Make it worth my while, and then, you know, I'll think about sticking around. Seriously. It's got to be worth my while. Crazy, man. My time is worth money, like this. My time is worth money. <laughs> well, in his case, he really super duper needs the super guy, but I can't. Oh, you cool. Don't worry. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you, but that's just doesn't cut it, my man. Just doesn't cut it. There are guys that are making 200 bucks a day minimum on their show. I, I'm not making that. I'm just not. It's not. I need incentive, man. Like anybody else, you need incentive. This thing's been laying here a long time. You need incentives to do something. There's a toothbrush just laying here, so who's not using? And you got this thing laying here. Polly Ali, hey, appreciate it, man. I know not, not everybody's got the money. I understand that. I'm, I'm, yeah, I have no problem with that. You do what you can when you can. Okay, I should read some of the comments here. Hello to me, and so hell to anybody. Historically, he never have it, he never will. He doesn't want to give out his identity to anybody. That's never going to happen. I sneak up on somebody and take a video and say, hey, I was right in front of you, you didn't even know it was me. Yeah, he's capable of doing something ridiculous like that. But he's not going to meet up with anybody. The whole idea behind the guy is a nameless, faceless troll. He doesn't want to be discovered who he is. There's too many ramifications. There's too many people. Yeah, to go. Yeah, I'm sure it's him. It don't matter who he is. He's a jerk no matter what. He's a loser no matter what. No matter what his name is. But I just go by the theory. At least I go on camera a lot. Both. You know, he's afraid to show his face and give his name, which means he's a coward. There's no question about it that he's a coward. He's even admitted himself that he's a coward. How many times he said he goes, "I am a coward. I'm not going to do any dirty work." I'm I'm a coward. He said it himself. I heard him many times. Yeah. Oh, fuck. What, I waste my money on him? You don't get it. He's burning away their lives, whatever they got left of them. And I'll tell you what, I got my own prediction to give you my predictions. I'll keep it to myself. But I think there's going to be several are going to take the best of them. Yeah. And I have the one in mind that I think is really in dire shape, in part because of his lifestyle, but also what he's been doing to himself recently, in of doing so. No name, but I think there's several vloggers that are not going to be around for a while. It's my prediction. No crystal ball, nothing like that. It's my prediction. Yeah. Wait, right? If I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, but if I am right, good. I made a lot of predictions that actually came true, true on YouTube here. Whether well, it was channels. And Jeff Hart comes in with another two. That's you that I gave earlier? Or oh, Raining Cats and Dogs gave two. And uh, 
Jeff Hart gave another two guys, and I appreciate it, but I don't think it's enough to keep the channel going here. Now, I got monetized, and I, everybody's on that fucking platform. And the only way I'm going to make money in a Haitian about a week ago, a purposeful demonstration is just to prove I was right, and I was right. My screen lit up. My screen lit up very well. Not large amounts of money, but it was decent. People want drama. I don't want to buy into this. I think this one on YouTube. And as I started to talk about the uh, expat channel, expat trash channel, well, people, and they get the job done and they get the word out there. I'm all for it. But with or without the help of expat trash channel, doing a, a pretty good job on their own. Exposing themselves would be an undesirable out here, especially ones that are still living out here. You know, I mean, I'm spending him in there, but you know, he had a responsibility to himself and his own content, which inevitably got him that he is now. I can breathe. It says, "Oh, Barry's doing well." Don't buy that. He's not doing well at all. How would you like to be four months now, as of the 28th? It's over four months now that he's. He's not having a good old time. I'll tell you that. It's hot. It's humid in there, and it's probably not very pleasant. Hey, Jeff, I appreciate it, man. I show appreciation when I can. The fact that you donated is is excellent. I appreciate you know that. He's suffering right now, but it's just beginning for this guy and these other. And fucking Fazio. Oh, his time is coming. If Mother Nature doesn't do him in, somebody else will, or somebody out there will. He ain't gonna meet face to face with anybody. When Ricky came over there, that Ricky, he just got slapped in the face and cried like a little baby. The cry that was heard around the world. The cry that was heard around the world. That was quite an embarrassing moment, I must say. That was really embarrassing. About it, ever lived that down, ever. What's that worth? What's that worth? There's no price you could put on that. It's just none. The time that he exposes, a couple of times actually whipped by Ricky. I mean, those were classic moments. I forget. I was laughing my ass off when that happened. Is a real thing after all. And it was. Jeff Hart says Fazio is being played. They will EPT episode as a nut and a scammer. Well, I'm surprised they have not done a big. Piece. I'm really actually shocked that Expat Trash Channel did not do a big piece on this guy. Though after the heavyweights leave Faz to his own devices, well, that's what they should do. Hey, I support Expat Trash for a piece. You know, they could very well do a show on me. They probably would have done one already if I was actually worthy. They're going after the people, the big dogs on here, the ones that need to get kicked the fuck out of the country. They know who the targets are. They so far have credit for that so far. Yeah, whether it's AI or whatever it is, but they're doing a pretty good job. I must say that. Okay, so I do got to get off here. Thanks for a couple of donations, but. We got lots of thinking to do about this, boys and girls. How many times do we have to say that? I get enjoyment sometimes out of vlogging, but it gets so old even for me. I understand if you know things are a little bit different on here. If everybody wasn't fighting with each other out there, it just gets really old after a while. Nah, that's not going to solve everything here. Nobody's going to give on a regular basis like some shows make. It's just not the way it's because I'm. Oh, well, I admit it's an incentive of staying on here, but you know, uh, the fracas maybe the frequency of the shows I do. Not everybody has money to give somebody money every day, unless you happen to be wealthy. You know, fucking Big Kevin gets John Balut giving him money all the time. He's got a lot of why he likes、uh, Big Kevin. I have no fucking clue. I have no fucking clue. The pig is what he is. Don't even care about his kids. He ain't sending him no money. He ain't a heavyweight. 
heavyweight my ass. He's a fucking punk ass motherfucker. Triple R did not win anything. They came to say we went. No, they didn't. They went out looting, attacked, and got disbanded. And they all became my Roberto, people like that, you know. And they weren't doing very well. Al has been getting his, his shows taken lately. Put up a shitload of shows and make up with them taking off. Apparently, they think they're well loved out there, but apparently. Okay, guys, got to go. 24 this hour is pretty respectable. People, that is. But still, get my point. Yeah, times you got to go with grace, you know. I've never been out with grace. Or anybody named Grace or Gracie. Hmm. But, you know, things have been accomplished. I can't tell I mean, there you go. There you go. Was that an accomplishment? Yeah, I'd say it was. <laughs> I certainly do. I'm very proud of my work. Jason Bulbit says this is a tiny niche. Allen observers would be less on the people and things that go on in this community. Well, people do place important on what goes on in communities. They want to see fights. They want to see people attacking each other. People making absolute fools. You know who the players are. Man, that guy's made a fool out of himself more than I could count. Falling off ladders, everything he's done, falling to the floor of his house, falling and tripping and going through boards on a boardwalk outside in the yard and falling down on his ass. I mean, I mean that's entertainment right there. When that, his kissing Aloe's ass is just getting embarrassed from it. And I'm not him. I mean, how obvious an ass kisser can you be? Bigger guy. You would think big to carry him under his wing, and that's what he's doing with Alvo. Lopez says none of what goes on here really matters if you step back and think about it. I just find it entertaining sometimes, but yeah, sometimes it goes too far, and they start getting your family involved, all this other shit, and then somebody's going to kill each other. Okay, you know, somebody going to get hurt. One of these creeps are going to get hurt, one way or the other. If not by me, by somebody else. I mean, look, I'm human. I try to hold back on shit like this, but I don't know if I've seen him in the street with these people. I don't know what I do. I can honestly tell you, I don't know. Now, you remember that TJ IF situation? You have no idea what's going through my head. I'm the one that approached Alice or seeing and showed it. You know, it was, I, I, I didn't want to talk about it, really. You guys know the story. Brian Hollywood was set up by, by Ricky. Ricky knew there the whole bit. If I would have had my hands on Barry, it would have been one big bloody mess in that bar, I guarantee you. But I had just gotten back from Hawaii. Finally got released from the prison opening and I went through all the hoops. Air fight, I spent time on that. Doors, and I was already in Hawaii, and I made my way back to the Philippines. And I was just back a short period of time to be honest with you, I didn't want to get into a hassle with nobody. That was a great opportunity. I just I didn't want to get in trouble with them. Because there would have been a lot of blood going on there, and it wouldn't be my blood. I guarantee Barry's a coward. He's always been a coward. Always will be a coward. I could take that guy, that little, little pretzel. I could bend him like a fucking Gumby. He had to carry a weapon in his hand. A fucking thick shot. shot. The idea was I made a move. Then he had that knife in his pocket like he pulled on the fucking waitress. Because he always said, he always said that I carry a weapon. He goes, I'm, I'm just too small and thin of a guy. But he, so he's five foot eight, then five foot two. But it's really interesting. If, if Barry's only about uh, five foot three, and re realistically, when that picture of me standing next to him, uh, obviously, I was taller than he was. And everybody who saw TJF and see him on it all, but there were numerous comments that said, boy, he looks like a little little troll doll or something. He's so bent over. Yeah, they want free drama, but don't want to pay. Now, it's not a show unless I'm making, then it's worth that entertainment value. But I've woken up, I've woken up. I don't want to offer any more free entertainment. 
I don't. I don't see enough coming to my show to make it worthwhile to make it even a hobby anymore. So we'll see by tomorrow. If it does happen, you'll see all my shows on. But I just won't be doing any more shows. Just leave it to the ad sense. Whatever that adds up to, it does. I don't depend on this money, guys. Okay. Yeah, so far I do. Yeah. Anyway, it's all I'm going to say. Kind of, you know. Start my evening. Betty, just thought I'd talk about a few things on here today. Yeah, Fozzie is making a fool out of himself. And I'm going to tell you, Fozzie, I know you're listening, man. I didn't forget anything you did. You better put that in your mind. I did not forget anything that you did. I ain't about to forget it. And your day, one way or another. I think mother knit down before anybody else does out there that don't like you. With that being said, nighty night, folks. We might. And by the way, if I decide for real not to come on, no been away from you been on. Your choice and my choice only. Like they say in the Philippines, only, only ninety nine pesos, only. My choice, not anybody else's. And let them talk. Let them try to bait me to come on if I got off. That's what they'll do. I know exactly how it works. I have a lot of experience with these people, but I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> you know, there are repercussions to what you do in life. Ask Barry. Ask Barry. <laughs>